Hello everyone, SP Architects here today I want to show you how to create this scene in ArchiCAD and T-Motion. We are going to model whole scene in ArchiCAD and we are going to change materials, lights and other things and render this file as this. I know this is going to be a long tutorial but I am sure you will learn lots of things. Therefore I suggest you watch this tutorial to the end. By the way, if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD, I have more tutorials in my Patreon channel. You can reach the complete house tutorial and also all of my project files as well as this one and my other project files where you can see in the YouTube. Alright, without any further ado, let's go to the ArchiCAD. Here we are in ArchiCAD and as you can see, we have a sketch for this tutorial. And you can see some different layers. This one is grass, grass layer. This is a wooden plank. We have some pavement and a different layer for the grass. And this is going to be seating part. And this is going to be a pool. And we are going to place a tree right in the center. Now let's model this. I want to make this realistic. So. First, we are going to make a real earth layer. To do it, we will go to mesh and we are going to make a broad rectangular shape like this. But I cannot see my sketch. So to see that under the floor plan and sections, we are going to click this one, cover fills. And now we can see our sketch. Or you can do, you can select all of the sketch, Alt Shift and unselect your mesh, copy, and you can go to the worksheet, and you can right click here, click New Independent Worksheet, and you can paste it to here. Once we have done this, you can delete the sketch inside of the ground floor. Now it's gone, but to see it is very easy, you will go to the worksheet, right click here and you will click this show as trace reference. That's all. Now we can make easily our model. Alright. We have created the first level, which is earth and this grass. But there is another layer level on this grass, which is this pavement. Let's do that. Since this is going to be a flat surface, I'm going to use the slab. If this was a slope terrain, I will definitely go with the mesh. Now I'm going to hit the space and click my sketch. As you can see, sketch is very important. You can pick up your border lines with your magic band tool with the space. Now there is something to fix. To fix it we will click these points and click the edges and you can fix as I did. Now this needs some thickness. We will give, uh, give the thickness from here, maybe 8 cm. If we go to 3D, we need to fix it. You can drag right on the your 3D. Now let's change the surface from the texture, surface overwrite. Click this chain to make all of them similar and we are going to make a payment, something like this, maybe stormwork. Not too bad. Let's go back to floor plan. And we can create our wooden plank layer. Of course with the slab tool. Once we placed one of them. We will edit this. Maybe we can type in plank or 
we will select this list view to see it better. And we can go with the maybe siding medium. And the thickness is a bit too thick. Four will be enough. And fix the height. Once we have done this, we can easily copy this with the old key and space. There is also another one here. And test it. Actually, the direction of the wooden plank is wrong. We can fix it here or we can fix it in the rendering stage. It doesn't matter. Let's create our pool layer. As you can see, we have a ball, but it's changed its thickness, a bit more shape. And again, there is a simple wall. We can do this with the wall too, but there might be some problems with this thicker and non-straight parts. For this reason, we are going to use the slab tool. Just like this. And we are going to create space inside of it, a hole. Click this minus and click inside. Now let's give some material, maybe something white. And in the 3D, we will give some thickness. For this kind of models, I prefer changing to reference plane location as bottom and I will align this bottom part with my terrain like so and after that I will give my thickness. By doing this we won't be able to we won't have to change our elevation each time. This part is going to be maybe I don't know 90 or 60 Now we are going to create a base for the pool. We can also make it in the 3D window. Just like this. We are going to place a tree inside of the pool. So we need a platform. We are going to make the platform with the slab tool. And this part level will be equal with this part. All right. Let's create a border for this exterior border for the platform. At the first, we will create a border with a anthracite colored tin wall. And we are going to cover it a real wood platform and layer. Let's do that. Let's go to wall and change the structure and wall thickness 5. And let's change the surface. Go to enter site. And its space and field inside. We will change the direction Well done Maybe we can get rid of this part Because it's inside of the Eating area platform It's not necessary And that's it Now let's break another slab For the wooden level Maybe we can start here. Maybe five to three. Yeah, that's fine. And to see it better, we are going to apply a chamfer effect. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
too much. 0.5. Oops. Let's try again. There we go. It's going to be something like this. Let's fix this also. And for the height, 50 centimeters can be useful. Now we are going to change the material of this wood. With the vertical. Okay, now we are going to array this. To do it, we will hit Ctrl plus U and we will select drag, increment and spread, and rotate to pad. Pick pad before input. Click OK and we will just hover over inside. Just be sure all of the pad will be, will be highlighted. Just like this. And click your starting position. This is 5 point 2 maybe. Just like this. For the remaining part, we are going to make it manually. We can delete this part. And let's look at the 3D what we have. This looks a bit complicated. So to see it better, I'm going to change the 3D style. I'm going to uncheck this show contour and make that detailed shading. As you can see, it's way more realistic with these wooden planks. Of course, you can make the same stage, same things for this floor as wooden chamfered slabs, but it's up to you. Let's add another to here. Okay. Let's just pick up this mesh and fill inside with that mesh. Maybe we can give some clear difference, 10 centimeters or 5 actually. And of course, you can just cover your borders or you can leave as is. Maybe we can change this entry side with the dark gray. Yeah, way more better. Let's fix here. I'm going to make that manually. I'm going to change straight line with the curve and that's all. Let's create our seating element. We can do that with the slab, of course. Let's give some wood. And the height will be 45 or 42. 
As you can see, once we have applied our seating element, we will realize that the X side of the seating element is not enough, so we are going to change height. Way more better. Let's create an opening for this tree island. Click this subtract from polygon and click inside. Copy this place. We are going to create our border. Let's change the height and change the surface type. As you can see, this is not enough. and mesh the bottom with the slab. Or instead of doing that, we can divide this with the seating area. I'm going to create a circle for this part and I'm going to duplicate once and hit this minus Click this circle and we will select this remained part of this pool and this part we are going to delete this area. Now we can make it 60. Way more better I think. There we go. Alright, once this is done, we can go to TV Motion with this model. To make it better, you need to install your DataSim plugin. And after you install, you can go to Options and, sorry, Window, Palettes, and DataSim. You will see this, and from here, you will hit this export to DataSim file. You will type in your name, file name, and hit the save. Alright, this was the arcade part for this tutorial. In the next part for this tutorial will be TV motion part. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. And if you are serious about learning arcade, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.